Good evening. Welcome to lesson 9.5, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the geometric term uh, known as congruence. Okay, and so basically we'll define congruence. Um, you should remember from our earlier discussions it means the same size and the same shape. The symbol for congruence is an equal sign with a single little wavy equal, just the, just the one though on top. Okay, so this symbol right here means congruence. Okay. All right. So, like I said, congruent figures are figures in geometry that have exactly the same size and the same shape. So, in the um, and these aren't perfect down here below, but let's say that these two triangles are congruent. What that means is that the corresponding sides of one uh, and the other are going to be of uh, the same size and the same shape. So, the angle, this angle here and this angle here, are going to be the same. Uh, this side and this side are the same, and so on. All right. Now. We actually go so far as to do something called a congruent statement. And a congruent statement is basically stating exactly how the two um, triangles, not only are they the same size and shape, but how do they actually line up. So if I start with triangle, let's go with CAB, like a ca taxi cab. Okay? I want you to notice what we're doing here with CAB. We're going from the thing that looks almost like a right angle, maybe it is. We're going out to the really small angle, and then we're going up to the top angle. So when I come over here to this um, triangle, okay, we want to do it in exactly the same order. Okay, so if I go triangle CAB, that will correspond with what triangle over here? CAB from C D, to e. A to B. That would be from D to F to E. Okay, and I've got three mystery guests, by the way, and uh, while we're going through this video, see if you can figure out who they are, but make sure you pay first and foremost attention to the math. So it'd be angle, triangle D, F, E. Now, with the picture drawn here, you can pretty much tell um, which sides go together. So, for instance, if I put a couple tick marks up here in A, B, you can probably quickly uh, see that that's the same as F, E. Now, it's actually technically the same as E, F, but again, since we're going from A to B, we should go from F to E. So we would say that um, for corresponding sides, we could say that segment AB is congruent to segment FE. And make sure you put the bars on top. Okay. Now, it gets even better than that. So if I took A to B, then that should go to F to E, even if you don't see the picture. So second letter, third letter should correspond to second letter, third letter. So without even looking at the picture, if I say what angle uh, corresponds with angle B, that's the last letter, so you'd say angle E. If I said what angle corresponds with BAC, angle BAC, so that's cab spelled backwards. So you go over to the red one and you go EFD, again, backwards. Okay, so everything corresponds exactly the same way. And that's, what, and that's what you get when you have two figures that have exactly the same size and exactly the same shape. Their corresponding parts are going to be congruent. All right, let's go the other direction. Suppose I want to find out when are two triangles congruent, and I know stuff about their parts. Well, obviously, going back to the earlier example, if all six parts of one triangle, like so in other words, all three sides, so this side and this side are the same, and this side and this side are the same, and this angle and this angle are the same, and this side, angle and this angle are the same, and this angle, angle D, is congruent to angle C. Well, obviously, if all three angles and all three sides of one triangle are congruent to all three angles, the corresponding three angles, and the corresponding three sides of the second triangle. Well, it stands to reason they're the same size and they're the same shape. But do I need all six parts? And the answer is no. Okay. If I just gave you uh, three sticks and said, hey, put these together and make a triangle, there's only one way you can do it. All triangles made with those three sticks, they might be turned versions of it, they might be flipped backwards, but they'll be the same triangle. So side, 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 Okay, of one triangle are equal to the side, side, side of another triangle, you know that the two triangles are congruent. It's also true if you know two sides and the angle between them, so that we'll call that side, angle, side. In other words, if we go around the triangle, this is a side, this is a side, this is an angle, and this is another side. And I do the same thing in another triangle, I get an equal side, an equal angle, and an equal side. Then the two triangles would be congruent. And the final criteria is if you have an angle, and this is actually a ray here, a side length, and then another angle. Obviously, the only way these two rays are going to come together to make a triangle is if they finish up the triangle. Same thing with the side angle side. The only way to finish that triangle is to draw across the bottom. Okay, And so that's called angle side angle. If you have any of these three criteria, 
criterion. And it's actually kind of easy to remember. They're all palindromes, meaning they're the same backwards and forwards. Um, they, then you're going to get two triangles that are congruent. The only one that doesn't work, be careful about angle, angle, angle. Okay, so think about why angle, angle, angle isn't going to work. So I'm going to draw here a small, um, what I would like to be an equilateral triangle. Then I'm going to draw a much bigger equilateral triangle. Okay? Now, in an equilateral triangle, what do the three angles add up to? 180 degrees. Right, 180. And they're all equal angles, right? So yes. if all three angles are equal, what would each angle in the corner have to be? 60 degrees. Yeah, this one's got 60, 60, and 60. So does this one. So here I've got two triangles where three angles of one triangle equal three angles of the other. Okay? And are they congruent? No. 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 What, are, what is similar about them? What is the same? The angles. Yes. The angles are the same and the shape right. is the shape. same. So these are actually called similar figures. And similar is another um, a geometric term that's like congruent. Um, what similar means is that the two things are the same shape but not necessarily the same size. Okay? In fact, um, it gives us a little bit more, too. It'll tell us that the sides are proportional. So, for instance, if I know that this side right here is double this side, well, that's going to be true of all three sides. So if the little one uh, has three sides of one centimeter, the bigger one will have three sides of two centimeters. Okay? Um, and so those are, it's an actual uh, geometric term. It's called similar. It looks like the congruent symbol without the equal sign. So it's just a single little squiggle. Okay? All right. So, um, so that's everything you really need to know for right now about congruence. Congruent figures are the same size and shape. We need to know how to uh, pair up the corresponding pieces, like corresponding angles and corresponding sides. That's the whole, you know, getting the letter thing straight. And then we need to know these three properties. And so I would expect to see this on the daily quiz. Uh, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle. In fact, the only one that's a palindrome that doesn't work is triple A. All right. Um, all right, so finally, um, we're up to the, uh, oh, shoot, it showed the names. Okay, so, um, well, there we go. Um, you were supposed to guess whose shoes these were. So we've got Quinn, Hampton, and Matthew. Gentlemen, thank you very much for helping with congruence. You're welcome. And You're welcome. Um, everybody else, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we will practice working bye, on congruence bye. tomorrow. Uh -huh.